73. 73 on the exact wire that we are trying to trace is not a good look. How come on all the electrician channels on YouTube do they hook up the hot and the neutral and they seem to trace just fine? Why is your method so much better? Well, how do we bump these numbers up? I'm going to do something off camera and we are instantly going to bump the numbers up. How do we do it? Stick around to find out. This is the Klein Tools ET450. This is the advanced circuit tracer here. If you use this as a circuit tracer, it's very similar to other circuit tracers. But if you use this as a toner, you're pretty much cheating. This, this thing is a cheat code if you use it as a toner. And I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna compare it to other toners and we're also going to show you how to hook it up properly to get this into toner mode. The instructions don't talk anything about this for toner mode. It's pretty much hook it up to a receptacle, hook it up to a receptacle, hook it up to a receptacle, hook it up to a live circuit. doesn't mention anything about toning mode. And that's because we have the best video on YouTube about toners. And if you don't think so, you should go watch it. But enough about that. Let me show you how to hook this up in toning mode. And then we'll do a little bit of regular circuit tracing for normies. Now we're going to keep this short and sweet. How simple are we going to make this? If you go to a customer's house and he has seen this video. And you're using your toner or circuit tracer wrong. The customer is going to be able to school your on how to use this thing no joke it's gonna be that easy the very first thing that we are going to do we are going to make sure that we have a true ground now how do we make sure we have a true ground if we have a multimeter and every technician should and every homeowner if you're needing to figure out how to trace a circuit should have a multimeter and this receptacle is plugged in we should be able to get 120 volts on our multimeter and that's going to tell us that we have 120 volts here but what we're going to want to do that's to neutral you want to go to the ground prong to the hot and the small one is the hot by the way if you don't know the small side right there is the hot and you can see there that we had 120 volts to ground what that tells me is that I've got a good ground source so if you don't know if you have a good ground source, I've used customers oven hinges before. I've made jumpers. One good way to do it is to get an extension cord just like we did. Verify that you got a good ground. And doing the same logic. Can you believe that? we got a YouTube video with logic here. We are going to plug into the hot and we're going to touch what we think might be a ground. So we've just verified that my pipe is solidly grounded by getting... 120 volts here What's not going to help you is you can see we're getting 120 volts to this pipe. This is also metal But look, we're not going to get any voltage here or Or here or, or here anything metal. It doesn't have to be metal it has to be grounded So you want to get something that has a true ground usually your panel has a true ground Extension cord works really good for technicians. It guarantees that you can get a ground in the location that you need it or jumpers or extenders, things like that. Now that we have a true ground, we can start testing. I wanna make this perfectly clear here. If we look in our box here, you're gonna see where we have an extra lung lead. So if you do get this kit, you're gonna have this feature. This is designed to plug into a ground prong in a receptacle. So you may or may not have to resort to clamping to a random pipe but the same thing is still true you want to make sure that you have a true ground source even if you use an extension cord because you never know what situation you're getting into especially as a technician you could have some crazy situations going on so in this case we can use this as our ground instead of having to clamp to the pipe which is essentially the same thing and now we can start toning all over again. So if we turn this up, 
you can see here where we are let's let's just go to level four here three 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 on here is a 57 right take the ground off and we have a 22 one more thing to drive this home because this is the most important part about toning and tracing because anybody and i mean anybody can get any circuit tracer they're going to work just as good whether it's 40 dollars or 250 like this one you can take this here take this here and you can plug into a receptacle and this thing is going to trace like a dream. It's going to be 199% accurate at the panel. That's what these are made for. These are not necessarily made for toning and that's why we're trying to drive the ground point home because this is actually a toning video in disguise but we're using the circuit tracer because this is like the next level way to tone. Like I can't describe to you how awesome this is as a toner. And I still prefer toners because the power can be off with toners. So to drive this point home even further, this is a panel. It's actually not hooked up. There's really no attachments here. This is going to be a future panel. But you would think that this screw would be grounded because it's a freaking electrical panel. Look at all that metal. We're going to show you here. You're going to see where we got 120 right there and I pull out my ground prong and I touch it here we got 23 volts not 120 so we have somewhat of a ground source but not a very good one and that's why a true ground source makes all the difference now during all this I realize this video is overconfident uh, somewhat cocky I'm a humble person um, I'm just very confident in this video and I want to show you guys that we definitely know what we're talking about there is no other video like this on YouTube I promise you if you guys have any questions comments things that you're dealing with things you're trying to trace troubles that you're having let me know in the comments below and I will respond back to your comments. I'm active in the comments and I respond to everybody's comments and try to help them out. And this is the most basic way to use this. We're not going to talk about circuit tracing like everybody else does. This is how to use this in toner mode and we're going to compare it to a toner. The circuit tracing is so simple that I don't think anyone can mess it up because you just plug the thing in and it just finds it. This is... This is a little bit different. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our ground here. We are clamping it to a known ground source. And we're going to plug it into our receiver or generator, depending on what you want to call it. The transmitter. And then we're going to get our other plug here. Shout out to Joshua Wilson for sending me this. Huge supporter of the channel. Okay, so we got everything ready. We're going to turn this on. And we're just going to do a little test here, okay? You're going to see we're at a level 20 on two. If I take this ground off, there we go. If I take this ground off, look what happens. We lost all of our sensitivity. We lost 20 points. And we're instantly back up. So when toning, what it also does, it's going to actually allow you to probably read through the walls a little bit more reliably because you can see how far away we are with the ground attached right there. When we disconnect the ground here, you can see we're about 50% right there. Disconnect the ground. Zero. So we're 50% more reliable attaching to a ground source. That's, that's the nail in the coffin right there for the video. If you've seen all the other videos, you're going to know that we trace with the light, not the sound. So no light is on right now. You see no light is on. We're gonna dial this up. Now we got the light and we got an active pulse going on. We're not gonna touch any settings here. 
we're going to disconnect the ground and we have no light. So remember when toning with this you want to trace with the light and when using any toner you want to trace using a known live ground source if you will. It's got to have an actual ground reference. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next one.